Welcome back everybody, it's your boy Dragothian here, and as you can see, we have done a few a few adjustments, minor tweaks, some upgrades. Um, we've got a full screen version of the game for you. We've got a little bit of floating action going on here as well. Trying to up the professionalism a little bit. So I hope you enjoy this, this new upgraded uh, setup here. Hope it improves your experience. Um, let me know in the comments below if you want me to do a, a few adjustments as far as uh, my size on the screen and then all that good stuff. But otherwise, did this for you guys. So uh, I hope you are enjoying it and uh, I hope your week's been great. It's Friday today. Uh, it's ARC weekend for us. So a lot of updates that are going to be coming in. Purpose of the video today, I wanted to bring something especially that's pertinent to ARC. And that's troops. So why troops have certain roles. And... If you look at the actual troops, right, um, when you're talking about tier three, tier four, tier five, the troops tend to have roughly the same stats, um, the troops themselves. So let's, let, me, let me show you exactly what I'm talking about. Uh, and before I go into this, I do want to say thank you to Ronnie. He showed me how to get this set up going with the full screen on an iOS device. So thank you, Ronnie, for helping me out with that. Um, wouldn't have been able to do it without your brother. So let's, let's go in here and, and just kind of showcase what this looks like. Um, so let me see if I can get this to happen. There we go. So if you look at the base stats of, a, of an archer, it's 220, 216, and 212. So 220 attack, 216 defense, and 212 health. Let's go over to horse. Whoops. I do want to speed up, but not right now. <laughs> 220, 212, and 216. So the stats are the same, but why our horses uh, or cavalry tend to be used <clears throat> used specifically for mobility or specifically for nuking or specifically for um, <clears throat> taking down infantry. Well, obviously cavalry are supposed to be or are taking down archers. So cavalry are supposed to take out inf or archers. Uh, infantry is supposed to take out cavalry and archers are supposed to take out infantry. So that's the way it's supposed to go. But the stats are the same. So if you look at the troop, why are different troops used in different ways well if, if you if again if you look at the troops they're the same so if you want to go over to the commanders this is where the answer is so the troops get their tankiness on the infantry from the commanders if you'll notice infantry and attack and defense bonus huge defense bonuses damage taken from watchtowers reduced damage taken reduced by counterattack damage bonuses extra bonuses to damage and extra bonuses to defense and extra bonuses to march speed reduction for the opponent. More damage reduction, more march speed reduction. That's why these commanders are so important. So when we're talking about being on the battlefield and using these different troops in different situations, it's not so much the troop because they each counter each other in their own way, but it's the commanders. So I just wanted to kind of put that out there because it seems like some people are a little confused on you know why are why are archers so bad or why is infantry so good or what you know it's not necessarily that the troop itself is so good and and I will say that infantry is good for a couple reasons but there's a reason that cab is so good too and and archers aren't necessarily as good it's the commanders when you've got Richard and Charles and Yulji and um, you know a couple of these other infantry style commanders for the infantry troops and then you've got El Cid <laughs> for the archers um, it's it's tough. It's tough to compare. Now, um, YSG is certainly a really good archer commander, but he's really hard to level up, and he doesn't really see his full potential until you have at least the first, second, and fourth skills maxed out. And just like a Frederick or just like a Julius or just like any leadership commander, you don't really see their full benefits until you max them out, and that makes them more difficult to play with in the early game, which is really still where we're at, if you think about it. Most people are either dead middle of T4 or just getting to T4. The folks that are spending money are the ones that are getting to T5 earlier and earlier. Um, so it's it's just, it's it's harder for archers who need full commanders, full maxed out, to really do anything decent on the battlefield uh, to bring the archer capability to the table. I feel like once we get deeper into the game and we, we go farther along where... Um, You've got commanders like YSG maxed out and El Cid maxed out, and then having a secondary group like a Herman and a Kusunoki or something like that, they'll work a lot better. Um, I just think right now, 
you can really get by by having a Richard maxed out first skill with a Charles maxed out first skill. And you're, you're off to the races uh, on infantry. I mean, there's certainly more that can be done with all of these um, skills, and they certainly exponentially get better as you max these commanders out. But you don't really need to have a maxed out Richard and Charles to be effective on the battlefield with a full group of infantry. Um, so I, I wanted to put that together for y'all because I think that we sometimes we just get caught up in, well, I've got this much infantry and this much cavalry and this much archers when we really just need to make sure that we've got the right commanders for the right situation. So you're not bringing a double C led cavalry army to a open field fight in the regular kingdom versus if you were to bring a double C to an arc, that might make sense for one of your armies because you may need speed and you've partnered up double C with Belisarius. There's a value to that. Not a huge value, but if you need mobility and you need to be able to get to different objectives and want to be the quickest possible, there's a value to that. I think there certainly a, a Minamoto-led cavalry group with double C as a, as a secondary or uh, Pelagius with Minamoto or something like that, you'd be better off from a, a overall capability and versatility standpoint, and you would still be fast because of, again, when you're talking about the cavalry, uh, commanders, they all have march speed. They've all got some kind of march speed buff. So there's your march speed with Minamoto. Of course, with uh, Double C, you've got march speed. Um, I want to say it's, yeah, right here. So cavalry march speed bonus here as well, along with the mobility tree. That's why Double C tends to be the fastest uh, legendary in the game because of those two combinations there. But I think you're trying to you're kind of getting it at this point. There's a value to certain situations, and and that's why the the patch notes of being able to swap talents with hotkeys or hot buttons is so valuable. But it's going to be expensive because there you got to use the talent reset scrolls, which they're not cheap at all. So I just wanted to showcase that for you because again, if you look at the troops, they're the same. And obviously with the infantry here, there's there's a little bit of a difference because of it, me being Rome, so instead of it being 212 or 220, 212, and 216, it's 221, 222, and 216. So there's a there's a little bit of bonus there for my defense, obviously, and that's because of my civilization. But on your average, it's 220, 212, and 216 for T5, and it's the same thing for T4. They're all the same. Um, it's just a matter of your commanders augmenting those troops to be made for certain roles so infantry is made to be a turtle they're made to be tanky that's why all almost all the commanders have uh, defense and infantry uh, paths for their talents um, same thing with archers they're meant to be um, well and that's the thing that's another thing like when you're thinking about what they're meant to be right like they they they're good with nuking type of commanders they're good with hit and run type of commanders so that's where, where El Cid comes into play He's a nuker, and he's also got that fourth skill that gives them the capability to kind of run away if they need to. Um, so, I mean, there's, th there's things like, or no, it's the third. Yeah, it's the fourth skill. So, I mean, there's a lot of march speed in here, too. So, I think they're kind of a hybrid between a nuker and a cav commander where you've got march speed and you got a little bit of nuke. So, there's a, there's, a, there's a reason why all these things are this way so that you can't just have one best. Like, yeah, Richard's really good. Yeah, Martel's really good. Yeah, Julius is really good. Yeah, Bark is really good. But there's different situations where it makes sense to not have those commanders in certain situations versus other ones. It makes a lot more sense to have a, uh, a meat shield type of infantry group versus a uh, attack-oriented infantry group like, like a Charles and Yulji or a Richard and Yulji. It might make sense. You need more tanks, so you go with Richard and Martel or Richard um, and Barca or something like that. So... Um, just wanted to put that out there again I, I know I haven't put a video out in quite a few days and this was kind of thrown together last minute as well because I'm still ending my work week here but um, I wanted, wanted y'all to know that I have not forgotten about you and I have been working on the channel just not in video form as you can see so um, I'm hoping this is uh, something y'all are going to like definitely going to be casting quite a bit this weekend I've got a few lined up uh, in the funnel right now ready for y'all to get uh, Get some action on the channel and we also have our arc on sunday as well so lots of good things coming down the pipe for y'all over the next few days 
Um, I'm going to be playing and streaming pretty much all weekend this weekend, so look forward to bringing some more stuff to you. I've got some Commander Spotlight um, videos coming up. I've got some uh, troop-type things coming up. We're going to be doing some duels with Ronnie to try and get um, some more information to you on what combinations work best and uh, just different trials so that y'all can kind of see what the top end looks like, especially on the infantry side. Um, since that's what he has right now and we can do some different combinations to where you can start to see the difference and kind of what I'm talking about on this video where there's certain times where there's just there's better situations for better command for different commanders depending on what you're working with and um, yeah that's that's really it so again hope you all enjoyed uh, it's supposed to be a quick video about 10 minutes just wanted to check in with you guys spring festival is coming on Monday everybody so get ready for that uh, and mergers like kingdom mergers and um, kingdom transfers and things like that all kinds of stuff coming out this week so uh, lots to look forward to in the coming weeks and coming months as this game completely unfolds out there's still tons more i think that's out there that we don't even know about yet so stay tuned like and subscribe hope you're having a great week and i look forward to seeing y'all this weekend take care and cheers